In a nutshell, here's the deal with hurricanes. Climate change does not cause hurricanes. Hurricanes are a normal part of life on this planet. We all know that. But climate change exacerbates hurricanes in at least four different ways. So the first way that climate change exacerbates hurricanes is in a warmer world, more water evaporates into the atmosphere. And so when a hurricane comes along, there's a lot more water vapor sitting up there in the atmosphere for that hurricane to sweep up and dump on us. And that is definitely what happened with Harvey for sure. The second way that climate change exacerbates hurricanes is through sea level rise. Sea level has already risen eight inches and over the rest of the century, it's gonna rise several more feet. It's not rising linearly, it's rising exponentially, which is never a good thing. Why does sea level rise matter? It's because when a storm surge comes along, if sea level is higher, then there's more water behind the storm surge. The storm surge is stronger and more coastal area is flooded than would be otherwise. What's the third way that climate change can exacerbate hurricanes? Well. Hurricanes get their energy from warm ocean water. Hurricanes are literally plugged into the ocean to get their energy. Now, I don't know if you noticed when Irma skirted the edge of Cuba, it lost energy and it went down from a category five to a category four because it, it partially unplugged. It's like one of the two plugs was unplugged from the wall because part of it was over Cuba. And then as soon as it passed Cuba, it went back up again because it was plugged back into the ocean. So this extra blanket that we're wrapping around the planet, when we burn coal and gas and oil, it produces carbon dioxide, it wraps this extra blanket around the planet. This extra blanket is trapping heat and over 90% of the extra heat is going into the ocean. So that means there's a lot more heat in the ocean for hurricanes to suck up and get stronger. So on average, we do not expect more frequent hurricanes in the future, but we do expect more stronger ones. Now you might say, well, what about this crazy season that we're seeing? That is terrible misfortune. We see crazy seasons once every while. 2005 was a crazy season too. But then in between we have years where we have hardly any hurricanes. That is the weather. Up and down, up and down. But over long climate time scales, we don't see any more hurricanes, but we see that there's more rainfall associated with them. The storm surges are getting stronger and there's a greater chance of stronger hurricanes. Now, I just saw a comment there, which is perfectly correct. We're also seeing a longer season. Why is that? It's because ocean water has to be over about 80 degrees Celsius in order for hurricanes to even form, right? And so the warmer the ocean gets, the longer the season where the water is over 80 degrees. That's reason number four. And then there's reason number five. Reason number five is the fact that as the ocean warms, we're going to see a greater chance of warm pools forming in the Gulf of Mexico because water is always warmer there so that we could see hurricanes intensifying just before they hit land more in the future. And that result comes directly from a recent paper by Carrie Emanuel, who is kind of the guru when it comes to hurricane research and hurricane projections. So again, we do not expect more frequent hurricanes due to climate change but we do expect the risks associated with them to be exacerbated in at least four or five different ways. And yes, Al, I am talking Fahrenheit. Unfortunately, I have been converted to talking about Fahrenheit, especially when we're talking about hurricanes because we don't often get hurricanes up in Canada.